All right, YouTube, 116 Falconer here. Uh, I picked me up a pilot dash cam from Walmart, 1996. Uh, you know, I've been seeing these there for a couple weeks now. Uh, you know, never really raised my curiosity. But now today i got to drive out to Buffalo, or this evening. And we've had some absolutely terrible freaking snows. So I was like, you know what, maybe I better grab one of these for my trip to Buffalo, just just to be sure, you know, nowadays, if it's not on video, you know, whatever. So, we'll take a look at it here. I mean, it seems to be a good-looking unit on the box. Uh, it's 720p. Um, comes with a 4-gig SD card. It says it'll take up to 32-gig. All right, YouTube, a couple quick things here. Um, I had this charging for about an hour and a half. This comes up, it films in 1080p. Alright, the box says 720. But in the menu, you have it, it automatically loads in 1080p. Um, so you have 1080, 720, and then VGA. Also, it defaults at 50 hertz. Um, so I switch that to 60 hertz, you know, being here in America. All right, YouTube, so getting ready to head out to Buffalo. I'm leaving uh, about three hours early, but, you know, it's 70 miles up there. and uh, I want to make sure, I want to try to beat the school buses and everything. So let's see what happens. We, I got the camera in the car. That suction cup mount works really good. So let's fire the car up. Alright, so she turned on. And you can see it's starting to record. So we'll get going and see what happens. We're gonna get both daytime and nighttime on this one, so be pretty cool. See ya. Alright, YouTube. So the pilot uh, dash cam, Walmart, twenty dollars. Uh here's the SD card it comes with just a generic 4 gig card uh, I also tried a uh, SanDisk Ultra uh, class 10 32 gig card um, I'll tell you the good things about this the suction cup I mean it's lightweight you suction cup that to your windshield and it is rock solid I mean that thing's not going anywhere the uh, the microphone is works well in it, um, and that's about it. Uh, video footage pretty sucky. Um, I mean, it's good enough, I guess, but it's definitely not HD. Uh, file size, if you're running 1080 or 720, uh, you get. Uh, for if you do a five minute loop it's almost 600 megabytes per five minutes uh three minute loops are down to like 200 280 megabytes something like that for a three minute loop now if you run vga it for a three minute loop it drops down to 80 megabytes so what the footage on vga is is <laughs> really bad um I'll show you some footage when I went to Buffalo using the uh, the 4 gig card that's included. Um, you'll see I'm pulling up to the Lackawanna toll booths as I'm getting near Buffalo. And you'll see the skipping. A tractor trailer comes by on the right and you'll see it jump. Um, the night footage seemed a lot better than the daylight footage. I didn't have that skipping, that jumping, you know, it was, it was better. Um, so I'll show you some of that on the way home from Buffalo. Well, I'll show you another one pulling into the Buffalo Airport. How you doing? Alrighty, boss. Thanks, man.
whatever he's doing now. He's still life There was something else that he was he's doing now that I guess when he finished school it was supposed to end. But they told him that he could continue on because they liked what he's doing. But I can't remember what it was. Though. They liked to cut up his gym. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, it's a uh, dash camera. I'm doing a review on oh, it. Take, take a picture of that. Yeah, whatever. A film of you? Yeah, see. Garage. So, what is that from YouTube or what? Yeah. Like I say, not bad, not bad footage. Uh, then the next day, Saturday, I tried my class 10 card because I don't know what class this is, but it's just some generic junk card. So I did the uh, class 10 32 gig, formatted the card in the camera, and I went to my local uh, grocers there to grab me some pops get ready for a day you know spent with the old lady um, and the video froze you'll see as I park the car um, it freezes the time stops moving on it everything We are getting spanked this year. That's okay. I get to use my snowblower. Alright, let's see if this shuts off. Nope. Alright, in this car, the power stays on in the 12 volt adapter the whole time so I'm going to have to uh, physically shut this off here and then when I left when I left I, I changed the resolution to the 720 and it did the same thing it froze up there okay I switched it over to uh, 720 mode Let's see if uh, if this works any better. Hopefully, I don't get any stinking phone calls. Yeah, and, and the the uh, the lens it's 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 not wide angle at all. So, but the night video wasn't bad. It's not, it definitely doesn't look HD, but uh, but it's not bad. Let's go down this road here. The old Agway building collapsed there uh, yesterday. The entire backside did. I could turn the 
exposure adjusted. Well, let's see how it looks on the computer. See that when I'm looking at the monitor, it still is kind of choppy playback, so I don't think switching to 720 is uh, going to make a difference. Or putting the uh, Class 10 uh, SD card in there. So uh, I don't know if 32 gig is just too big for it, but I mean, regardless, you know. You want to make sure, I suppose, when you get a dash cam that it's going to actually record and not freeze up. And uh, like I say, when I pulled out of Buffalo, picked up uh, at the airport, going to leave, started the car up, and the camera locked up. It wouldn't do anything. Um, I had to physically unplug it and then plug it back in to get it going. Oh, the other thing that happens too is in the settings, like you have these uh, LEDs, these IR LEDs, um, when you shut the camera off and turn it back on, if you have set these up to record uh, the uh, IRs to come on, it defaults back to off. Um, also, the motion activation, you can set that on, but you turn the camera off. And it defaults back to off on the uh, with the motion activation. So uh, resolution it stays the same. Um, most everything will stay the same, but oh, the battery life too absolutely sucks on this. You'll charge it up. You know the charging light will go off on the camera. The minute you turn it on, you drop to two bars. There's three bars in there. Um, so this morning I tried the VGA setting on here and after six minutes I was down to one bar and it was flashing um, so I'm figuring you probably get a maximum of 10 minutes recording uh, if you're running on the battery on this thing so just some things to keep in mind you know you might want to spend a little bit more money on a on a camera but I'll show you the footage and uh, and that'll be that all right, see ya.